I'm in love with you, Lord. Oh, what a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name. What a beautiful, what a beautiful name it is. Sing it, church. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. You didn't want heaven without us. Come on and sing it with me. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. You brought it down to me. My sin was great. My sin was great. Your love was greater. So it could separate us now. Come on. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name. We love you. The name of Jesus Christ, my what a wonderful name it is. Nothing, nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of, what a wonderful, what a wonderful name. God, I love you this morning. I love you, Lord. All of my cares, my anxieties, my burdens, my worries. I lay it all on the altar this morning. I lay it all on the altar this morning. I give it all to you, Jesus. I give it all to you, Lord. Listen, you know on this morning's broadcast, the Spirit of God's dealing with me. There are a whole lot of you watching this broadcast, frustrated, feeling confused, don't know which direction to go in, don't know which way to turn. He loves you cares about you. God has a plan for your life. He says, I know the plans in Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you, to give you a future and an expected end. Just lift your hands to heaven and say, I give it all to you. I give it all to you. Yay! I give it all to you. What a beautiful what a beautiful name it is. Come on. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. Lord, every burden on this morning, all of our cares, our concerns, we cast all of our cares on you because you care for us. Satan, I bind you this morning. I take authority over you in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon that's formed against us will be able to prosper and every tongue that rise against us. In judgment it will be condemned because this is the heritage of the servants of God and the righteousness is of me says the Lord. God, as we are about to break bread and go into the Word, minister to your people on this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody say a good amen right there. Glory to God. I want to take you into the book of Mark chapter 5, beginning at verse 25, talking about the woman with the issue of blood, how to create an opportunity to receive a miracle from God. How to create an opportunity to receive a miracle from God. Me and my wife were sitting down talking with some people that we love, Telly, in the ministry. And you know, as we sat and talk, glory to God, our good friend got to preach it. And I tell you what, those words came out of my mouth. She said, you got to create an opportunity. I'm like, that sounds like a broadcast. 
how to create an opportunity, how to create an opportunity to receive a miracle from God. And I just want to talk with you this morning. Listen to verse 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 long years. I believe the Holy Ghost will heal many of you on this morning. And I suffered. Give me a flow. I feel the Holy Spirit coming in here. And I suffered many things of many physicians. And it spent all that she had and was nothing better but just rather grew worse. Her situation kept on getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. But verse 27 says, When she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press, in the crowd, and pressed her way through and touched his garment. Listen to this, verse 28. Listen to what made this woman begin to, begin to create an opportunity to get a miracle from God. For she said, in spite of everything getting worse, she didn't allow worse to come out of her, uh, to come out of her mouth. She began to declare it by faith. For she said, if I may but touch his clothes, if I can just grab a hold of his garments, the power of God is in his life. I've heard about the miracles that he did. If I can just touch the hem of his garments, I know without a shadow of a doubt. Now watch. So she began to create that opportunity by speaking it into existence. For she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garments, I know I'll be made whole. Glory to God. And immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. The woman had this problem for 12 years. But the Bible says, when she heard, in verse 27, when she heard the testimonies of the miracles, my God, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, we love you. Mighty God. Whew. Glory to God. When she heard of the miracles that Jesus had performed on the sick, her faith came alive. And when faith comes alive, you will talk like it, even though it looks bad, even though it looks hopeless. In the midst of death, you will speak life, for death and life is in the power of the tongue. And the word in Proverbs says, and those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. She began to say, if I may but touch the hem of his garments. She began to create the opportunity to get a miracle with words. She began to declare it. She began to speak it into existence. That's what draw this woman. That's what draw Jesus to pass by her way, even though it was an answer to Jairus prayer. He was on the way to heal Jairus daughter. But the Holy Ghost had a divine interruption. I feel the Holy Ghost about to give somebody under the sound of my voice a divine interruption to get a miracle. He may mess up your schedule. Something may not work out the way it's supposed to work, but God I say, but God is ordering your steps. God is setting you up to get interrupted for a miracle. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, we love you. And when she touched him, she heard it. She believed it. She declared it. And she acted on it. And when she acted and pressed through the crowd, she fought her way through. But when she got in arms light of Jesus, she said, this is my moment, and she grabbed it. you got to grab the opportunity. When it comes, it may not pass. It may not pass your way again. You may have to wait another 50 years. Joshua told, I feel the Holy Ghost. Joshua said to the children of Israel, he said, sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. God is going to work wonders among you. For we have not passed this way before. 
God's about to give you an opportunity. You got to make up your mind. You got to do something with it because Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. My God, you can't miss it. You can, but don't miss it. This is your opportunity. The window is open. The opportunity is there. You got to reach out and grab it. When she grabbed onto the hem of his garments, the power of God flowed through his garments into her body. And immediately she was made whole. Twelve years worth of struggle came to a close under the anointing. In a moment when God gets ready, it doesn't take him a long time, which you might have been struggling with for 20 years. One moment of the power of God at work, and it can come to an end. It's coming to an end for somebody this morning. It's coming to a close. Somebody's struggle is coming to a close. Jesus said, who touched me? For I felt virtue went out of me. Peter said, are you serious? There are thousands of people touching you. And when the woman with the issue of blood, when she realized, she said, I can't keep it to myself. She came and fell down before him, trembling, and told him the whole truth. She shed the whole testimony. Jesus said, daughter, <laughs> you didn't do nothing wrong. You did something right. Be of good cheer. Your faith have made you whole. Go in peace. And behold of your plague, the power of the Holy Ghost is here. For you are great. My God, the power of God is here for miracles. Begin to lay your hands on the part of your body where you need a miracle from God. The anointing of God is here. For miracles this morning, there is no one, there is no one else like you. For you are great. Sing it. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you you deserve the glory and you deserve the glory that anointing is flowing just lay your hands on the part of your body where you need a miracle miracles are beginning to happen right now tailbones twisted tailbones have been straightened out under the anointing twisted tailbones are being healed someone who have ruptured this is being healed a herniated disc, a bulging disc being healed right now. Someone who have damaged their spine, several levels in your spine. God's healing you in your vertebrae, right? And he's just healing you. In your neck, in your shoulders, in your hip sockets, in your knees, all the way down into your ankles, your feet, your toes. Fractures are being healed this morning. Cancer, cancer is being healed. Cancer of the kidneys being healed. Lung cancer, heart disease, prostate cancer. The power of God is here. Migraine headaches, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, diabetes. I see a young child being healed of asthma right now. Being healed of asthma. Mama, begin to let that boy run up and down in the room. Begin to let that young girl run up and down in the room. You notice they're healed. The asthma is gone. Multiple sclerosis. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We curse you at the roots. The power of God is here. So great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. The power of God. 
Back problems on the lower left side, back problems on the lower right. Someone who've suffered from several strokes being healed in the body right now. Brain tumors being healed, fibroid tumors, cancer of the breast being healed in the name of Jesus. Cancer in the chest area being healed in the name of Jesus. The power of God is here. The power of God is here. Power of God is here. Lay your hands on the part of your body where you need a miracle from God. The healing power of God is flowing. The healing power of God is flowing. The healing power of God be healed in your body. My God, problems in the neck being healed. Oh, we love you, Lord. Problems in the wrists, in the knees. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. My God, there is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. Many people are being healed this morning. Begin to check your bodies, the fire of God. The power of God for miracles is flowing. You are great, for you are great, mighty God. You do miracles. Listen, begin to check your bodies right now. And don't look for the don't look for the sickness, look for the healing. Don't look for the sickness, look for the miracle. Expect the disease to be gone. Expect the tumor to have disappeared. Expect the cancer to be gone from out of your body. Expect the pain in your back to be healed. The problems in the shoulder, in the hip sockets. The power of God is here. Many miracles. My hand is hot. I feel the healing power of God. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. There is no one else like you. You are great. Oh, the healing power of God. Be healed in your body. Listen, friends, many of you are being healed. Right below this video, and let us know what God is doing for you. He loves you. He cares about you. Keep playing. Just say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I believe you are the Son of God. You died on Calvary Cross for me. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. I believe. From this day, I surrender my life to you. Wash me in your blood. Forgive me of all of my sins. Friend, if you prayed that prayer, in that moment, you were born again. God has forgiven you. He has washed you in the blood of of the Lord Jesus, you are now a new creature in Christ Jesus. For the Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into the ministry right now. You can visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas, 75011-7442. We love you. We love you so much. We appreciate you. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity right now to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go ahead, scroll over me, my lovely wife's picture there. Then the subscribe screen comes up. Click subscribe and make sure your notification bell is turned on. And that way you will not miss any of our broadcasts. And listen, we want you to know this. Your life will never be the same again.